What this can do off-road is incredible. It's actually one of the most capable production vehicles you can buy, period. Hi there. This is the Ford F-150 Lightning. And we just named it our 2023 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The big reason why is this is the vehicle that's gonna drag truck owners kicking and screaming into our electric future. Because what Ford did was they took a normal pickup and they made it electric. But by doing so, they built a pretty interesting truck. This thing has 580 horsepower. It makes 775 pound-feet of torque and it'll hit 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds. What if for just $20,000 more, you could get an electric super truck? This is the GMC Hummer EV. 1,000 horsepower, 1,200 pound-feet of torque, 60 miles an hour in three seconds flat, and it can crab walk. But is it too much? Do you need a truck like this, or are you better off with a pickup like the Ford Lightning? The design of the Ford Lightning is conservative, and oddly, that makes it unique in this segment. Think about the Rivian, the Cybertruck, the Chevy Silverado, EV. They're all kind of wild and futuristic looking. This just looks like an F-150, which is really smart on Ford's part because the F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle in America for over four decades. Now, there's a couple little telltale signs that it's not a normal one, like it's got this wraparound light bar here, matching one in the rear. This looks like a grill. It's not a grill. And you know what? Tesla did the same thing with the Model S. When it first came out, didn't need a grill. They put one on there because they thought that buyers would be scared off by this odd looking car. And then eventually they took it off and guess what? They kept selling them. Now you can make the argument that by playing it safe, Ford was smart, right? They made this electric pickup truck look just like a traditional one. Although you can also say, eh, it's a little boring. You cannot say that about the Hummer. Unlike the Ford, I mean, the Hummer design team, they held nothing back. L look at this thing. I it's a Hummer that's been mixed with a Lamborghini LMO2 that's been mixed with a moon buggy. If my 12-year-old brain were to puke up its ideal truck right onto these rocks, it would look exactly like this. It would be yellow with a flame jaw, but it would be exactly like this. A and check out the details. I said Lamborghini, the LMO2. Look how much tire you can see. It's just like that, same on the rear. Look at these pointlessly oversized tow hooks. They're ridiculous. They're obviously emphasizing the fact it's a Hummer. They wanna de-emphasize that it's a GMC. The Ford's got one American flag. The Hummer's got two. This is ludicrous looking and I love it. I absolutely love the way this Hummer looks. We know we're in a Lightning as opposed to a regular F-150 because of this screen. It's the dead giveaway. It's the same screen that you'd find inside of the Mustang Mach-E. Not a fan of this. Couple reasons why. One is they got rid of the physical controls for like temperature and fan speed. And to me, you gotta have that. It's just, this is just too fiddly. You gotta look down. It just drives me crazy. The other thing is, it's just not designed. Like, look at this. All this functionality, but it's been applied via like shotgun. They just like threw the things up there. There's no logic to it. Why is Sketch next to internal backup power? I don't know. And the other part about the interior that drives me crazy is that I'm sitting in a $90,000 truck. More than that. Remember, this is the Lariat Lightning. And this is not a $90,000 interior. I'm sorry, that's not leather. You're not trying hard. You're, you're not fooling anybody, Ford. As far as technology goes, you know, besides from being electric, there is some cool tech here. Like I've got Ford's Blue Cruise, which is a hands-free driving mode. In theory, it's great. Problem is it doesn't work that well, especially when compared to Super Cruise and the Hummer. If you compare this to other General Motors products, and even to like, a Jeep or a Bronco or something, it's just a huge step up in terms of 
interior quality, minus these for cactus screens. The Hummer screen, it's not that it's lower resolution or anything like that. I actually like how it is in landscape view as opposed to portrait, but it's just as confusing as the Fords, if not more so. Where is the WTF button? It stands for Watch the Freedom. Well, this thing will launch to 60 in three seconds by rearing down on its haunches. I don't know, I gotta watch a YouTube video to figure it out because it's not obvious. Now the good news is I've got physical controls for almost everything. Yeah, this costs a little bit more than the Ford, but I like this interior. This has this like futuristic military kind of fiber. These panels pop out, all four of them come out. We've seen this on you know, Jeeps and Broncos, and usually they're like flimsy pieces when they come out, and it's just noisy. These are so much better. It's just a, it's another level up in terms of quality. So I think Hummer did a pretty good job on the interior, minus all that screen jazz. I sound like a broken record, but remember what Ford did was they took a F-150 and they made it electric, meaning this thing rides like a pickup truck. Unloaded on the freeway, the ride quality is disappointing. And remember who the competition is, right? The Hummer's got air suspension, the Rivian's got air suspension, the Cybertruck very well might have air suspension. So, you know, the ride is not that great. I knew it was gonna be sporty going in, all that power, 580 horsepower, all the weights down low, it's quick, it's fairly fun to drive, and I knew that. What I didn't know was how good this thing was off-road. Off-road mode, I've got the locking differential locked, and that's it as far as off-road goodies go. And again, looking at this truck, especially in these tires, you wouldn't think it. You look at the Hummer, you think, yeah, that can go anywhere. And it can. In terms of off-road, do you get $20,000 more performance out of the Hummer than the Lightning? The answer is yes, obviously, absolutely, 100%. What's so crazy from behind the wheel is you gotta experience an electric truck or SUV off-road to really get it, but it's so effortless. Like, what we're doing is kind of severe right now, but it's like, I barely got my toe on the throttle, and this just goes. There's just nothing that's gonna stop it. Game changer, game changer. We haven't even talked about the turning radius. It's so wonderful. It's got rear steer. This thing can make a U-turn in the same amount of space as a Chevy Bolt. Think about that, 9,000 pound super truck can like basically turn around in two and a half lanes. It's ridiculous, and then of course, crab walk what crab walk does is at low speeds it makes all four wheels turn in the same direction so you can kind of like diagonally shimmy around an obstacle rather than having to turn around it and it is pretty useful if you're rock crawling you're in a tight spot there's something you're gonna hit there you can't back up to do it and you can just kind of like diagonally escape and it's just fun i asked a simple question if you want an electric pickup truck, should you go for the Ford Lightning? Or is this 9,000 pound hunk of overcompensation worth the extra money? For most of the people, most of the time, you're gonna want the Ford Lightning. It's an electric pickup truck that does everything a regular one can do, say for long distance towing, but it'll do it quicker, it'll do it more efficiently. It's a very, very good truck. However, and I'm probably looking at it through rose-tinted glasses, but for just $20,000 more than that, you could have the Hummer? I mean, yeah, it's ludicrous. Yes, it's silly, it's juvenile. A lot of your friends are gonna find it repulsive. However, the way it made me feel, the way it tackled these trails, the things it can do with that rear steering, yes, a thousand times yes. So as great as the Ford Lightning is, for me, the winner's gotta be the GMC Hummer EV.